Good afternoon, Dr. Gary here on the road. We sell dental practices nationwide. We are dental practice brokers. Today's topic is when a seller of a dental office asks, is there an endless supply of the buyers? We're gonna get into that shortly, what the answer is. So anyway, as you know, we now are in 26, 27 states and we have 10 employees. We are growing. We hope to cover the whole United States at one point. I was a dentist for 25 years and now I've been doing the dental practice brokerage for 12 years. And we have a great team and we are excited to move forward. The information you're about to hear is for entertainment purposes only. It's not legal or business advice. Our phone number is 201-663-0935. And our website is dentalpracticeguide.com or dental or nationwide dentalpracticebrokers.com. So certainly give us a call. So anyway, also, if you are going to be thinking about selling to a large DSO, your practice is large, and you want to sell to a DSO, dental services organization, please give us a call. Often they will pay our commission, and sometimes we can get your legal fees reimbursed upon successful closing. So give us a ring, and we'll give you a rundown on how that works. Anyway, so today's uh, topic, as we say, is there quite a, when a seller of a dental office asks, is there an endless supply? Well, the answer is uh, no, there's not an endless supply. However, it is a seller's market for a dental office right now. But what happens in the beginning, if it's a good quality office, you get a lot of activity. A lot of people are looking, searching, checking, visiting the offices, redoing, reviewing the financials. They're going over everything. And uh, in the beginning, you do get somewhat of a rush of dentists that come in. Now, I'm just coming back from a dentist. It's Saturday. It's at the beach. I'm still working. But I did take some breaks this morning. It was nice going back to the beach now. So... Um, I'm showing a practice down here that I haven't shown for almost a year or nine months, somewhere around there. We had a flurry of activity in the beginning. We had two or three letters of intent. We couldn't put a deal together. The, you know, the terms weren't, for the seller, they weren't uh, comfortable enough. So we went through two letters of intent. It didn't work out. But we did have a rush of activity in the beginning. Then that just died down. And no one's been calling for a while. We're almost a year down the lane, and now more people are calling again. So you ask, is there an endless supply of buyers if it's a seller's market? The answer is no. But they will come. There's more buyers than sellers. But then how, much, how long can you wait? So we're one year down the road, and uh, we are... Um, just showing the practice again now. It's been a while. So you can't bank on the fact that we had a lot of people looking. We had two letters of intent. You just can't bank on it. Well, you had letters of intent, a lot of people looking. I'll just wait for the next person. I don't know how long that's going to be. And this is a good practice, some real estate involved too. But it is, uh, I didn't think it would take a year to come and... Uh, to bring more buyers to the uh, see the office again, but it's been a year. So we don't have an endless supply. The supply will continue to come, but it's not endless. And sometimes how long do you want to wait? Now this practice has been on the market for a year and a half. It's been a while. So in the beginning, if you get anxious people, that means those people have been looking maybe for the last six months or longer. So when they come, they're probably ready to buy. And they've also been waiting to buy. If that, you go through that crop of buyers, the next crop may not be around for another year. And that's what happened in this situation. We hope this couple buys it, but this buyer, the seller has to wait for a while. So be aware of that. That's what happens. Uh, there's no science to it. They'll just, and we continue to market, advertise, website. We answer the phone 363 days a year. Take off Christmas and Easter, but 24-7, I'm answering the phone. If you want to call us, you can try to do it from... 
7.30 East Coast time till 9.30 East Coast time. We're happy to speak to you. But I pick up the phone every day, except of course when I'm swimming or flying. And I'm going swimming now. So thank you for listening. We'll see you. Bye.